Hello Young Justice fans, Dark Superboy here with another video on our beloved superhero series. Today we will be covering the next episode of Young Justice Outsiders, episode 17, First Impressions. Let's begin. Okay, first things first, called it. Didn't I say that the Reach would be back? And they are in this episode. Uh, the synopsis is implying that they are terrorising a small town in America and somebody's got to stop them. And I think that somebody is going to be the formation of the Teen Titans. Not in the form of they're out there now, but this is probably the, one of the first public ops for them to get their name out, which runs with the first title, First Impressions. This is the first op, they're going to make a good impression. Now, we already know of three members that are out there, which would be uh, Beast Boy, Kid Flash 2, and uh, Gro uh, Blue Beetle. But we also have the possibility of the expanding uh, that roster because images have already shown Wonder Girls with them, Statics with them, and Brion is uh, with them. Now, uh, Wonder Girl, I don't know, is in public, but because she's Wonder Girl uh, in the comics, she was uh, publicly revealed. A static kept his secret identity so maybe they'll just introduce a mask or maybe he's just there as support in and trying to decide but Brion is already out as being a metahuman because of the uh, incidences in Markovia in the first couple of episodes so his uh, metahuman ability is already known and uh, he f he's known already he might go public and join the team which might mean Terra goes public and joins the team under the guise of wanting to help stop the metahuman trafficking, which is why she hasn't returned to Markovia uh, for that personal reason, oh, which is using the facade of actually staying with the team in order to get more information with Deathstroke. So that would leave the beginnings of an actual Team Titans and slowly the formation of it into the Judas contract with similar characters, Beast Boy and Terror, etc. But they obviously had to alter it because uh, characters such as uh, Nightwing won't be in there or Starfire. But if we continue with this of Wonder Girl, maybe that is the introduction of how we get Tim's Robin in there so that he can be an active op member for the Teen Titans and that will how they will uh, amend that fence. That way Cassie's happy that Tim's back with the team and Robin's happy that he's doing some ops. And therefore you've then got Beast Boy Terror, Robin and uh, a Wonder Girl from the original Judas Contracts uh, Wonder Girl will probably replace uh, Starfire. No Raven, though, unfortunately. And that's it. Um, new members of the team in the beginning of the formation of uh, Team Titans. Unfortunately, I've already co covered most of the Reach stuff in my previous video with the slight twist of this isn't the Reach tech that's full for Earth with the Armada. It's just a simply recon probe, which is running the risk of infuriating the War World, which... If you didn't quite catch in the previous episodes, is namely the reason why no alien species can actually slow down the meta trafficking because they can't introduce a blockade, such as suggested by Thanagar, because the war will, would come in and stop them, which is a nice plot twist there that has actually already been introduced since uh, the begin end of season two. So we can see that storylines, motions, wheels are still ca having cause and effect even from earlier seasons, which is why I love Greg Wiseman. He does brilliant stuff like that. Everything that from the past is always mentioned and leads to something in the future. Uh, but that's my thoughts and theories. Uh, let me know what you think. Please like and comment in the uh, sections below. I've been Dark Superboy. This has been our video on Young Justice. And as always, let hope burn bright. Goodbye. Okay.